Well, in case you just uh, joined us or just uh, arrived back from a sunny day, we understand, in Britain, the news is that Linford Christie is through to the final at the 100 metres, but he's got problems. That's the draw order for the final. But Linford ended with hamstring trouble, finished in fourth place in the semi-final, started to pull up about five metres from the line, and he's doubtful for the final. He's had treatment. He's out now on the warm-up track, and a decision will be made very shortly. That will be the draw order for the final, which starts at five minutes to six at British time. Let's just take a look at the Walnut track where uh, some of the athletes are out there. Roger Black runs later on the second round of the men's 400 metres. Mark Richardson's also through there. And so too is his clubmate from Winter's Flower and Eaton, Adrian Patrick. Confirmed hammer result now. Andre Abdavaliev of Tajikistan retaining his title with that last round throw. Desperate effort, but it was a magnificent one. 81 meters 56. Igor Ostapkovich from Belarus, 81 meters 10, takes silver. And Tibor Geshek from Hungary. He led for so long in the competition. He takes bronze with 80 meters 98. An absolute, absolute duplicate of the result two years ago. So a unique situation there in the hammer. So the second heat of the 1500 meters for women, the competitors out already. There's the lineup, Omanson, Rogachova, Bichkovskaya, Midoshik, Zulecha, Angela Chalmers, Chinchin. And uh, I can tell you that uh, Quentin of France, Rige de Poland and Hamilton of the United States makes up uh, that uh, full lineup. 7.02, Rige, 171, Angela Chalmers, the Commonwealth 3000 meter champion. It slowed it down, and they've got to the front, and uh, really, it's been slowed down. Uh, Bichkovskaya of the Belarus is leading. Chalmers in second place. And Rij is up there as well, in third, I believe. Right on the outside is uh, Miroshnik. 7-8-4. Tucked in on the inside is Ludmila Rogachova. Brendan, slow, and this will suit the uh, fast finishers. The Commonwealth champion Angela Chalmers, they, they won't be worried too much about the, the pace because there's no incentive. But whilst this is going on, the scenes going on behind at the back on the warm oak track, Linford Christie still wondering, still worrying, obviously in real trouble. Our pitch of Skyer then from, the ba from Belarus, just uh, steadying that pace down. Chalmers in second place at the moment, and uh, as I said, uh, Miroshnik of the Ukraine uh, in third. She's a two-minute, 800-meter runner, so she's got plenty of uh, speed. One, two, six, pitch of Skyer. Chalmers looking comfortable. Uh, Rees, fifth in the European Championships uh, in this event. Uh, she's tucked in the middle of that uh, bunch. The French woman, uh, Frédéric uh, Quentin, Mediterranean champion in 1993, incidentally, beating Bull Merker in that uh, championship. Rogachova's boxed in on the inside. There's a 17-year-old Ethiopian there, Dulacha. She was third in the World Junior Championships over 800 meters. She's wearing the green top and the red shorts. But this is uh, fairly pedestrian, and uh, it'll all be down to fast finishing with six to go through and six fastest losers. Well, certainly, they're going to have to work a bit from here if they're going to qualify as fastest losers, that's for certain. Susie Hamilton, the American, is there still, and uh, Chin Chin Tui of uh, Myanmar, which is formerly Burma, at the rear of the field. Interesting to see Angela Chalmers there, the Commonwealth champion. She's trying to control the race from that position. She's doing a very good job. She's letting them run to the speed she wants to run at, but 224 for the first, first 800 meters. They're going to have to get a bit of a movement on here because six to qualify as of right, but there'll be six places for the fastest the fastest times and doesn't look like it's going to come from this this round the little ethiopian there dulacha she's an interesting character 800 meter runner 800 meter junior runner moving up to the 1500 meters been training with dorado tulu and the teammates in Addis ababa and eventually she'll prove to be a good very good distance runner whether it's at, at 1500 meters maybe even longer than it, 1500 meters but an interesting one to watch well the straight way and 400 meters to go then in this uh, second round first round, second heat of the women's 1500 meters. Miroshnik of the Ukraine. 
She's done uh, her old 3,000 meters. She's strong and she leads now with uh, Bikotskaya of Belarus uh, on the inside and Angela Chalmers who's always been out of trouble. Rogachova's uh, trapped in on the inside at the moment, so is Riz and the youngster Delacha uh, Dulacha at a green top. Well trapped, lacking experience. Quentin's in a good position, the tall French woman on the outside. And this is going to be a real battle with just about uh, 250 meters to go. Susie Hamilton, the American, second in the American Championship, is making a bid, but uh, finding the pace pretty tough off the back of that uh, pack. She's now making a move. Bikovskaya. Here comes Susie Hamilton on the outside. Quentin coming round the corner with her. Miroshnik running very wide, so is Rogachova. It's a straight line finish, this, and it's going to be very tight, and they've allowed Dulacha through on the inside. Rogachova, Dulac is going to take this, Rogachova in second, Hamilton under pressure from uh, Reed, from Hamilton, from Chalmers. And uh, the French woman, I think Quentin came through, but first six go through. Well, that was a very, piece, very uh, exciting piece of distance running from the young Ethiopian. She waited on the inside, she was trapped on the inside, like you said, Stuart, but she just waited. And eventually, if you wait long enough on the inside, in the home straight, people drift out. And then when she got the opportunity, she flew through to large out of Ethiopia, the, the 800 meter and 1500 meter champion from Ethiopia. I think she'll do an awful lot more and it may actually be at 1500 meters. Well, fifth was Chalmers and sixth was Quentin. They were the six to go through uh, to the semi-final. Well, that was a tough race. We expected that certainly in the home straight after such a slow early part of the race. Well, Kelly Holmes in the first of those uh, heats looking very, very comfortable indeed and must now have all the pressure of the favourite on her shoulders, really. It's unbeaten this season and looks so very, very strong. Well, this uh, stadium absolutely packed. It's about 45,000. It's uh, the Olevi Stadium. It's uh, Scandinavia's largest sports arena built for the World Cup final, incidentally, in soccer in 19... 58. Well, let's have a look now once again at the warm-up track. And out there, Linford Christie is uh, having a chat to his friend Colin Jackson. I wonder if they've made the decision yet as to whether he goes in that final or not. I think he might well do one or two looseness. But we'll see how he's moving if he does. Awkward decision to make because he could ride off the rest of the season for him, but this is the World Championship. Yes, let's see how he's going. Certainly nothing putting any pressure on that uh, hamstring. And Sally, looking at that, I'm not sure I like the sign. No, he doesn't look as confident as we usually see, Linford. Uh, you know, he's probably going through his mind. He knows that he can't give it 100%, and to go out there and to win these World Championships, he's got to be able to do that. And uh, it's not good seeing a Linford that's just not a happy man there. I think a lot of it is, you know, you've got to put to the pressure that he's been through in the last couple of months. And, uh, you know, everyone's been putting that pressure on and it does take a, a toll on your body and, uh, you know, the hamstrings and back. And uh, I think it's showing now. Well, he had to break training in Monte Carlo to go back to Munich for treatment. And uh, it's a hamstring problem, definitely. Let's have a look at this time. He's very, very conscious of it, but if you think about it, he's supposed to run the 200 meters, and he's also required by the British team for the relay. And you can sense already in this week that we're not going to be bringing home a bag full of medals, and anyone that Linford could help to contribute to get would be worth having. And he's just said this may be the last time we see him in a major game at 100 meters, so he's almost got nothing to lose, Sally. No, but if uh, he, you know, is going in this with with an injury and uh, is something like a hamstring, which is obviously going to put a lot of strain and when he's flat out and pressure there you know maybe he's thinking whether to hold himself back a bit for the 200 but we're still going to find out soon we saw his coach there ron rotten and they're having words no decision as yet 